mentioned earlier that basically like Emerson just carried like, Emerson Bridget like carried on your back and Will was involved as well. A lot of people were involved in EWJ because it's such a big undertaking. Basically, this is what happened when I thought about EWJ. All the parents ask, how can my child children improve their writing skills? And I'm like, by reading and writing every day. And they're like, okay, well, what should they be reading? I'm like, great question. You should read the classic books, newspapers, and magazines. And they're like, okay, well, what should they be writing every day? And I'm like, they should respond to their to the reading by journaling their thoughts. And they're like, okay, but who's going to check it and give them feedback? And I'm like, that's actually a really good question. So that's why we created EWJ, all right? The idea is to form positive habits by reading not just fiction and literature, but by reading sort of reputable periodicals on a regular basis. And so we really go back to the basics, which is New York Times, um, we get Atlantic articles, New Yorker pieces, and we really want students to reflect on the world at large, all right? We also do our very, very best to produce regular individualized and personal feedback on our students' work. The team has done a phenomenal job, actually, we had to, I mean, there was just so much demand and, and this is such a popular program. We actually had to double the team halfway through to make sure everybody was getting their individual and personal feedback because poor Emerson was just like, well, there is a lot of reading to do. So thank you everybody uh, for basically going all hands on deck on this. I am so proud of what our students um, were able to put together during the summer. I actually want to show you guys what they did. So, if you go on to ewcjournal.com, that is the publication, all right? So this is obviously during the summer. It went for six weeks during the summer. Students were reading and writing every single day. Um, we have science and tech pieces. We have creative writing pieces. We've got sports and arts, all right? Um, and, well, that's about us. But we have a ticker down there because remember, kids were reading and writing every day during the summer. And so the news is pretty fresh. We've got a phenomenal team. Um, we have obviously Emerson, we've got Bridget, who is amazing. She did a phenomenal job. Will is there as well. Um, and here, the only thing I will add um, is that we have news. So this is a hard news, and just in case you're wondering, um, students are writing news pieces, so they have to write hard leads, and we walk them through how to do it. Um, let's just take an example of science and technology. I know a lot of kids are interested in science, and they're like, we don't like writing, and I'm like, but if you study science, you, you have to write anyway. So they write about science here, okay? Um, some of the kids got really excited about some of the topics and was like, well, can we write columns? I'm like, yes, you can write columns. So somebody wanted to write a Jane Austen column. Feel free to read everything you ever need to know about Jane Austen here, okay? Um, we have younger kids in here as well. This is On the Fifth. Emerson, why is it called On the Fifth? So I actually got a dog over the summer and joined the hundreds of thousands of other Americans, apparently, that also got dogs over the summer because it was very difficult to find him. But I did get one, and his name is Fitzgerald, uh, which is actually named after F. Scott Fitzgerald because I really love to read. I don't know if you guys have, like, gathered that yet. Um, so anyway, we decided that in honor of Fitz, short for Fitzgerald, we were going to name the kids' corner on the Fitz. Exactly. Perfect. And you can see, like, I think our youngest was nine years old over the summer. Honestly, we just want kids reading and writing. That's, that's really the purpose of EWC Journal and for us to give them feedback. So this is what um, our kids have basically been working on uh, in the summer. And I am incredibly, incredibly proud of them. Uh, this is going to be on a monthly basis. Uh, sorry, excuse me, a monthly subscription during the school year. So we will still be sending out daily reading, but we also know that like you guys are busy. So um, Bridget and Emerson have talked me into having you guys do three pieces, a minimum of three pieces during the week, one news, one letter to the editor, and one feature, whether it's science and tech, sports and arts, or a creative writing piece, and they'll be due Sunday. Yes, you everybody should thank them because I was going to have everybody submit a piece every day until Emerson told me how unrealistic that was. So um, there you go. That is the EWJ uh, schedule. Bye.